Hi, today we're at Bob Ed filming a video all about 3PL and Bob Ed's partnership. Hi, I'm Abby, I'm the customer account executive for Bob Ed and I'm here today with Mike. Hi, yeah, I'm Mike, I'm uh, the commercial and operational director of Bob Ed. Uh, been here for about 15 months and um, yeah, I've obviously started the journey with 3PL, which we'll get into. So do you want to tell me a bit about your brand, your target audience and all of that good stuff? Yeah, so the brand again, like I said, it was started uh, with the two brothers, Damien and Seb. Started as a bedroom brand about seven years ago. Then they went on Dragon's Den for a pitch. It wasn't anything to do with money, they just wanted the kind of network and access to uh, the, 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 the wider market. Uh, obviously they were successful in, in, in doing a partnership with Tuca and Peter, Peter Jones. Um, and then Damien and Seb decided about 18 months ago to go full time and give it a shot. For the last 12 months, um, or the last 15 months, the brand just exploded. And we're now in 108 countries in terms of what we're dispatched to and multiple, multiple wholesalers. So. I mean, it's, it is amazing what you've come from, mm. sort of selling on stalls and things like that to where you are now. Yeah, the lads have got a really good vision of what, what a true um, well, there's lots of different types of bikers, yeah. but with like that sort of Harley Davidson market, they, they really get the customer. All of our garments are rider tested. They are not bought off the shelf like many brands. They start on a shelf, but then they are amended, tweaked, measured, cut uh, until we get to the perfect product. And they are also um, officially licensed as protective garments, which a lot of people out there in the marketplace say they are, but they're actually not. You understand the customer type. Yeah, definitely. I mean, and speaking of customers, like what what trends are you seeing now? Like what what's the what's this market? Like I'll do my best to answer for this <laughs> because obviously I'm a bit more of a black and white guy. I'm, yeah. I'm obviously commercial operations type background. I'm not a designer. Um, but from my understanding is is that the bike we're going after now is is, is obviously we love that check cotton. Yeah. Um, and it's it's basically for us where we see the opportunity for the customer is it's it's all ranges, it's all ages. What we're offering is, is affordability with top quality and protection. So by example, we love Harley Davidson. Yeah. That's what's inspired a lot of this brand. Uh, we will not speak ill of them. However, their product is very expensive. Mm. So if I take, for example, one of our best selling lines, the Reaper leather jacket, which is AAA protection. We sell that, that jacket at 329 pounds and you are protected. Harley Davidson will sell that same jacket or similar style jacket for around 700, 700 pounds. So it's that affordability piece. It's also having designs that obviously attract the old biker, but also bring in the new age biker. Um, and for us, where our customers are developing is where they actually come in and see us. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, I can assume you've got a lot of time back from deciding to outsource your logistics. Yeah, so for us, just to kind of tell us, to kind of get into that then, so for, for us, when, when we first kind of settled down and looked at Bobhead as a full-time business, we, we immediately knew that we had to put a strategy together and prioritise those kind of building blocks. So we do have a three to five year strategy, but year one for us was always around the route to, to the route to the customer, the customer experience piece. So there's two aspects to that. There's the supply chain, how we manufacture it, source it, price it, and ensure that it's the right quality product. But then the second piece of the puzzle was fulfillment mm -hmm. um, and, and getting that to a customer in a timely fashion, um, cost effective for them and us. Mm -hmm. um, and obviously also outsourcing and getting help because it was literally three of us upstairs uh, and friends who would pick and pack orders every single morning and sometimes late to the evening at night uh, as the brand was grown. So 3PL felt like the right thing to start exploring. You get a lot of 3PLs, you'll basically say something out the box mm. and you stick within their rigid kind of framework. This is what you must do and how you do it. I feel that why, why, why 3PL work for us is because nothing's ever smooth or perfect, but they've been helpful from day one and they are very solution driven. And for us, as we are a scalable business and we begin to grow, partners that we are bringing into this business have to have, to have that in mind. They have to have a, a little bit of innovation behind them a willingness to kind of, you know, um, compromise, but also, again, to, to, to stay with us and, and help us figure out what's best uh, moving forward. And that's, that's the same supply chain as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I mean, speaking from my own experience, I know that from 
helping you with the onboarding and seeing sticking with you throughout. Obviously, mm. you've had such good growth just in that. Yeah, I mean, the best thing, I mean, there's a number of aspects that I do, like about 3PL, and it's one the customer service has is, is, is been really good. A couple of teething, pro <laughs> couple of teething problems, but again, that's, that's like the standard business thing. That's not a, a criticism at all. That is no. just a case of, you know, we're, we're both partners, we're both figuring out how each of us work, and we also discover things along the way. Yeah. But the customer service piece, the touch point there, has been really, really good. Good. Um, the whole, the whole, the, I mean, the fusion systems that we use as well, which is like a plug-in portal uh, that links to Shopify. That's been very straightforward. Um, yeah, it's it's been it's been a good experience so far, and it was done in a very a very quick turnaround as well, which was which was super helpful. Yeah, it was. Which obviously it's always a challenge when you've got a short time frame, but yeah. I think we work well together. So. Yeah, I mean, he's really worked outside the lines for us. So, by example, we had a couple of inbound deliveries that were obviously not part of the standard process originally you are really flexible with that you helped us with the costing on it as well and I, again the, the speed that you actually got back into picking uh, was great we've even rocked up on weekends you know when we've had like last minute shows and he's a pulled the stops out and had staff in there to help us out so like i said it's not about being perfect it's about being solution driven and, and that's what stands out for us Definitely. Yeah. I mean, obviously you have worked with 3PLs before, you've worked with a lot yeah. of 3PLs, but then walking into your journey with us, what were your expectations? Maybe what were you worried about? Well, I mean, my expectations are always driven by what what what, what we need at Bob Heads. And what, 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 I know the bottom line is, you know, I'm a part of Bob Head, but Bob Head is Damien, Seb, uh, and to an extent his father. Mm. My objective is, is that I need to be able to separate friendship from business, since that's hard to do sometimes, but ultimately my role is to protect Damien and Sebastian because they deserve every success. And for me, when I walk into something like 3PL, that list of expectations is very clear in my mind because it's always with the incentive of what is best for them. Um, and like I said, I am I'm always willing to compromise, but my expectations were along the lines of, are you a solution-based provider or are you just a 3PL provider? Are you, is that the service you just provide? Definitely. Yeah. And like you were saying before, obviously logistics isn't without its challenges. No. So for you, like what, what would you say is an area where you'd like to see a lot more improvements in the future for both yourself um, and also your customers. Well, I think, I think the biggest learning curve, you probably agree with me on this, <laughs> is, is probably returns. Definitely. And, 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 you know, returns for me, I'll be totally honest with you, I've dealt with returns all my life to a certain degree mm. in, in what I do in the trade, but I've never uh, kind of been knee deep in the trenches looking at it. And it's been a really big learning experience for all of us. And, you know, the, the reality is, is that there's different ways to manage returns. Um, and currently we're seeing like, you know, it, it depends on the courier you're using, it depends on the customer and if they're doing it correctly. Uh, the timings will fluctuate. There's different ways that, there's different things we've learned yeah. that we can say we want to do better. But again, that kind of leads into that next point of where you, you fed that back mm. and then the customer service team have actively looked into solving that issue. I mean, obviously you can enlighten us a bit more and more on that, but yeah. the, the solution that you guys have got lined up is exactly the right approach to, to how it should be handled. Um, which again is very encouraging and we look forward to exploring that with us. Yeah, I mean, just a little bit on that, the return solution with the portal and how you can tailor it to your business. Mm. Obviously, as soon as I saw that and it was kind of being demoed to us, I was like, Bob Ed need this. Yeah. You, you need that because mm. it's like everything you've been asking for. Yeah, I mean, the whole idea for me is, is that it's not about being lazy. We do everything from unpacking products to going to board meetings. Yeah. You know, we're not afraid to get our hands dirty. Our, our thing is to be able to outsource and, 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 and put as much into you guys <laughs> as we can, as long as it's getting managed a certain way. Mm -hmm. So returns for me was, it feels like a good, a good one. Other issues, I would say the other issues, I'd just say they were observations from both sides, is uh, you know we're learning a little bit more around uh, our approach to different things in mm -hmm. customer service. Like for example, I've had a customer who hasn't read the terms and conditions piece properly. How do we communicate that? But no major issues at all. They're just the stand things that I'm used to seeing uh, in, any, in any business. The point being is that when it's raised, it's acted upon. That's mm. what I want to see. We've talked about the next 12 months, we've talked about current. Mm. Let's talk long term now. Let's talk five years' time. Hmm. 
What are you going to be doing? Uh, so five years from now, I hope well, Bob Egg will be worldwide. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, it's literally on the cusp. It is. Uh, where we'll be, we'll probably be in the bigger premises, will be the ideal location. We'd want our own paid outright premises, mm -hmm. headquarters, and you know, we'll be global. But absolutely, you know, we'll be, we'll be a massive brand, social, clothing, you name it. Uh, we could even get into parts or the other out. There's so much opportunity for us because it's a biker market. Yeah. There's so much opportunity for us to expand on other things. It's just <laughs> we've got to grow the team as well yeah, no, as definitely. we go along. Like, and then obviously, if we film a piece, we're a lot more storage views, probably. Yeah, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. 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 You let us know what we need to get no, more. We, we, we will, we will, <laughs> we will. Yeah. And like I said, our other strategy is, is um, you know, the again with the 3PL for film model perhaps in America and or mm -hmm. Europe or both or whatever so mm -hmm. but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it but right now we're, we're, we're pretty happy with how things are going. Good, yeah. I'm so glad. Yeah. Yeah just to round off, Yeah. what events have you got coming up because I know that you get people down here all the time. Well here? Yeah. Well we were going to have a Reaper Bash this Saturday yeah. but we've just done a deal with Manchester Harley Davidson and obviously we want to support Manchester because this is a Manchester brand yeah. from originally. They actually actually did close down, right. and then the gentleman named Chris, who owns a couple of dealerships, came on board and invested in Manchester and reopened it. So we're really grateful for Manchester actually just to be open. Mm -hmm. But then uh, Steve, the contact of ours, got in touch with Damien and Seb, and said, "Look, you know, guys, we'd love you to come down." So that's this Saturday. Um, this probably won't be out on time for that, but this Saturday. Um, and the reason why I got in touch with this was, it's quite a funny story, is that on the last day, of the opening day they had the reopening, there was something like six, seven hundred people there, and Chris said, who are Bob Ed, his owner, because he's a sports guy, sports bike guy. Oh, okay. Um, and he, 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 Steve went, why do you ask? He went, well, I've just been round and counted. I had to stop counting. There was 132 people he counted so far that were wow. wearing Bob Ed. So immediately got in touch and immediately did a deal with us. We're even doing their own t-shirts, Manchester t-shirts for them. So that's Saturday. Sykes is also this Saturday, which is obviously down south. Uh, Dame's going to be there. Um, we've got a trip potentially down to Cornwall near the end of the year. We're going to be at NEC Birmingham, which is October, yeah, November, a which is a massive trade yeah. show. Um, and potentially we're trying to get a funder in the Glen. Um, which is uh, a month or two from now, uh, depending on whether or not we can uh, get, get a spot there. Mm -hmm. We did have more bike rallies planned, like we did more of them last year, but again, it's about time and resource and, and priority. So, again, like I said, the plan is next year to get those lads out as much as we can, with a view of us then um, trying, to, trying to get things moving here. Oh, yeah, and the reason <laughs> why we're going to go to more rallies is that we're potentially looking at some sort of transportation that holds our stock and allows us to just rock up and um and show everyone what we're about but we'll, we'll so get too true. much into that because that, i don't want to steal a lad's thunder on that one no. but we'll keep an eye open because it's going to be super super exciting like. yeah definitely yeah. i'm excited to yeah, see yeah. that it's going to be like good life and then of the other thing that we're planning obviously is bike builds so we do raffles around bikes um just with a view it's great for content it's, it's, it's more about content for us it gets people interested in the brand um and it's good for us to see our name on, on, on a bike. You know, yeah. some of our dealerships have already done bikes for Bob Ed and that. So there's loads, loads more than out there in the end, but they're, they're the sort of things that kind of spring to mind at the moment. Nice. Yeah. Just so I can get a few bragging rights as yeah. well. Yeah, give a bit of an overview of like, summarise your 3PL experience in three words. Uh, three words? I'll, I'll give you more if you've got so, so many compliments uh, to give me. <laughs> um, I'll take one word. <laughs> I just say, uh, okay, solution based partner. Nice. Yeah? Yeah. But uh, I am complimentary of you in particular. Obviously, I've got a bit of favouritism. You are exemplary in customer service. Thank you. Your customer service is very good, but you, you certainly help lead the way on that, I would say. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.